The Bumbu Police Barracks Housing Program in Lay began in 2012. It cost 2.5 million kina. The project was meant to ease the chronic housing problem faced by the constabulary. The contractors have left, the houses are uncompleted, and the yards are overgrown with weeds. At least two members of the constabulary are living in the settlements. The others still live in condemned housing in the police barracks. Wagambi will be liaising with the police headquarters to find out why these houses are yet to be completed. For certain reasons I'm not too aware of, uh, but uh, when I was handed over the command from uh, outgoing Metsub, Mr. Lakatani, uh, I was also briefed on that. Uh, those houses must be completed on time, quickly, because we need to utilize those houses to put our personal inside. We have a couple of our people still out living in the settlements and all that, so it, it has a big impact on the, on the performance. Into the fourth year and the seven duplexes remain incomplete. Lay policemen and women have the difficult task of policing PNG's fastest and growing city. Despite living in filthy condition, they continue to provide an essential service. This year, ACP for Northern Region Peter Guinness had also questioned why those houses were yet to be completed. As the government talks about increasing manpower within the constabulary, it must first address the accommodation problem faced by the constabulary. Senior officers within the constabulary say there is no point recruiting young personnel when there is no accommodation for them. But how can we be able to accommodate these recruits when we don't have accommodation? We cannot come out and leave the, allow them to uh, walk around the street or sleep on the three brands to come and work and by no heart. They need to be properly housed, they need to be properly accommodated so that when they come out and they can be able to execute their duties uh, accordingly. Matalubis, National MTV News, Lei.